Now today we'll be looking at how to replace every exterior light on the Acura TL, the fog lights, the HIDs, the turn signals, the backup lights, the brake lights, everything will be covered here. Now this comes from a viewer named Pascal. He asked, where is the fog light? Where's the HIDs? And it's a little confusing on these cars and this very, very simple ways really just to track it down, but I'll include all the part numbers as well as links directly to Amazon if you do need to purchase any of these bulbs. So let's start with the front fog light. Now the fog light is located, or the fog lights are located on the innermost panel toward the grill. So here, this is the driver's side. This is your fog light, part number 9006, HIDs, and that is your parking light and your turn signal. This we can replace no problem. The HIDs, you have to remove the front bumper, which I'll show you uh, later on in the film. And the parking light and the turn signals, you have to remove the inner fenders. Coming over to the passenger side, again, fog light, HIDs, parking light, turning signal. Now, regarding the fog lights, the part number is 9006. This is the driver's side we're doing right now. Just have these plastic panels. Okay. And then you have an air tube, just pull up on it. You don't have to remove the battery. If this is difficult for you, you can remove the battery. It certainly will give you a lot more room, but it's not necessary. And then on this tube, you have an indentation. This indentation goes into this notch when you reinstall it, okay? Now let me turn on a light. Little hard to see here, very, very tight working room right where this white harness connector is that is the connection for the H I'm sorry for the fog lights now on top where my middle finger is there's a tab here you can hear it press down the tab pull on the body don't pull on the wiring then the light itself you're going to turn it clockwise 45 degrees again really tough working room but just rotate it 45 degrees and there's your fog light. Okay, so that's the uh, driver's side. Let's do the passenger side, same deal. Little uh, cover. There's just tabs on the bottom of these. I'll show you in a moment. Okay, if you take a look on the flip side, you have a tab fits into this grommet. This tab fits into this grommet. Okay, very, very simple. Passenger side, I would say, is certainly easier than the other side. So right here again, press down the tab, pull, get this out of the way. And once you remove the harness connector, it's the exact same process they just saw. Just rotate the body 45 degrees, remove the bulb, replace it, plug this guy back on, and that's it. You're all done. Now moving over from the fog light, you have the HID unit. Now interestingly enough, we have a separate video that I did years ago showing on how to replace the HIDs along with the igniter. The entire HID unit essentially. The bottom line is to replace this bulb, you have to remove the entire front bumper. Once you remove the front bumper, you have a couple of bolts holding or fasteners holding on this headlight assembly. Once you remove the headlight assembly, then you'll have access to a cover with a special Torx bit, and then you remove the bulb. It sounds a lot harder than it really is, but that being said, I'll include a link in the description box directly to that video. And then moving over to the side, you have the parking light and the turn signal to replace this. On most vehicles also, this is pretty normal, you have to remove the inner fender. So let me just turn on the car, we'll rotate the wheel. We'll start by removing these guys. And then this bottom one, the tire's so close to it, but if you have a small enough Phillips head, you'll be able to get it. Now, if you don't have anything small enough, then uh, you'll need to remove the wheel. Okay. And then underneath the front bumper, right here, you have a 10 millimeter bolt. You have to remove that. Then coming toward the front, you have another one right there, okay? Now in between those two bolts, again, which was right here, the other one right here, there's a plastic tab. Now there is a special tool you can buy, 
that specifically removes these tabs, but you can do it with a flathead if you're careful enough. Let me get a thinner one. Now, if you ever do break these, you can purchase a whole pack of them inexpensively, but you're just slowly rotating both ends. If you have the tool, this is a lot quicker, but just like that. Just take your time so you don't break it, and that's it. Okay, this actually comes out if you push hard enough. And then to remove the inner fender, a couple of plastic tabs like the one we just removed. So one there, another one right here. If you look hard enough, you'll see a couple. And there's another one right here, and I'll show you all of them. Another down here. So once you remove all of these plastic tabs, it's a large area that encapsulates this entire area. It's a big piece, you just pull the whole piece out, then you can get clear access to the side marker. Also, this other one on uh, near the front door. Okay, that, so that was near the inner fender and the tire. Now this one is right on top, almost at the 12 o'clock position. Okay, and then we have a couple right here, another toward the bottom. So two right here toward the front fender. One all the way back here. I think that's the last one that should pull out. Now the part number, or the bulb, for the turn signal in the parking light is bulb number 7443. Again, everything, I'll include a link to Amazon. Right here. Here it is. Okay. So there you go. Part number 7443. Now to remove the side marker, we're just going to push from inside the fender. It's a tight fit. Just be careful. There we go. Harness connector, press down with your thumb, and there's your light. To reinstall it, just plug it in, push it in. Oh, that's upside down. And that's it. And those are all the front bulbs on the TL. Now, I also forgot to mention that your HIDs, this is your low and your high beam. So this guy, they have to remove the front bumper. It's a D2S bulb that's your low and your high beam. Now let's start with the reverse light. So if you open the trunk, you have a padding here, and a number of very, very small clips. Now again, you can use a special tool, or you can use a, get my flathead. Okay, very, very gently because these are very easy to mark up and scratch. But just slowly work in, and there you go. So you just want to do that around the entire perimeter of the uh, the trunk here. And once everything's pulled out, you just gently, see how that pops out? Just gently pull back. Now once you remove all 11 of those small plastic pieces, you also have the trunk cushion. This you need two hands to pull. One on the left, one on the right. You also have the trunk handle. Let me bring down the trunk and turn this around. Right here, you have a plastic piece, Phillips size screw. And then for this, I'll show you on how I'm just, you can take off these plastic pieces or you can just slowly, very gently, peel back the carpet. Okay. Now the backup bulb is part number 921, very easy to get to once you remove this, the trunk cover, rotates out, and there you go. Part number 921, place it back in its mount, that's it, you're done. Now the bulbs for the license plates is number 168. And right here is where it connects, okay? So you just disconnect it. Now to remove this, right here, where my index finger is, there's a tab, there's another one on the opposite end. So you have to squeeze in the tabs. It's a little hard. Ugh. Oh, you can angle it, which you really shouldn't do that because you can crack it. But on the flip side, there's your bulb. Remove the bulb, put a new one in, and then take a look at this angle. Uh, we have to... There you go, sort of insert, it has to be almost pointing up at, toward the sky, but there you go. Okay, 
Now the brake light is really made up of two components. Right here, this section is an LED light. This, this is your brake light, and this is your signal. So right now, as you can see, I have the hazards on. Now this signal light you can replace. I'll give you the part number in a moment. Now the brake light itself is an LED unit. This, if, you, if this is something you need to replace on your vehicle, the rear bumper has to be removed, unfortunately. Now I do have a separate video showing on how to do that. I'll include the link in the description box below. But that being said, LED, you gotta remove the rear bumper. If it's your blinker, then we can go ahead, remove the inside of the trunk. Also, same deal with this. Now the panel is quite easy to remove. We have a clip. Very gently remove it, just like before. Okay, and then you have a couple of these screws. If this is hard for you to move, or remove I should say, grab a piece of cloth, a pair of pliers, and just turn it. Okay, same on the floor. So just to give you another view, clip. These are the fasteners we just removed. And then, looking down at the trunk, just flip this guy up. There's your spare tire. And essentially all that you're doing is just pulling this up. There you go. Okay, make sure that these clips are still attached. If they're not, they'll be right here. Just remove them, put them back in. It makes it easy when you have to reinstall this. And then we'll peel this back and get access to that light bulb. And then you'll push back the carpet lining. You'll see two harness connectors. You want the top one. The bottom one really is for the LED uh, brake light. But the top one is your turn signal. Part number is 7440 for the bulb. Okay, and there you go. We'll put it back in. Turn it. Plug it in. And that's it. And then if you do need to replace that side marker, that's the LED unit. Just like the front one. I'm not going to do it again. You get the idea now. You just unplug the harness connector, push it out, and replace it, and that's it. You're done. Let's do the high brake light, and uh, we'll wrap it up. Now, the third brake light has a cover over it, and I just loosened it because uh, with one hand it's hard, so off camera I just loosened it. But essentially, you're just going to fit your fingers under here and push down just like that. And as you can see, you have one, two, three, four clips holding this on. Take a look on top, you have a harness connector, two bolts, this entire unit drops out. So again, where my index finger is, push that in that tab, pull out the harness connector. That is really about it. Okay, there you go. So that's how you replace the exterior bulbs on an Acura TL. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps a number of you out there, and we'll see you next time.